Have you ever wondered how electronic devices evolved from this to this in a just span of 20 years? Will it follow the same trend for next 20 years? What do you think will be the future of electronics devices? Let's understand it technically. Back in 1965, Gordon Moore observed that the number of transistors we can fit in a piece of chip will be doubled every two years. And this simple law has shaped the entire semiconductor industry evolution. Fast forward to the present, Apple's A13 Bionic chip used in the iPhone 11 series had 8.5 billion transistors while the A16 doubled that to 16 billion in just two years. But how are we able to pull this off while making our devices smaller and slicker? If we simplify things, it will all comes down to the technological innovations of shrinking the transistor size. The smaller the transistor, the more we can squeeze onto a chip, resulting in enhanced computing power. A13 uses a 7nm tech node, whereas A16 has 5nm. And the term NM is nothing but the size of each transistor used in the chip in nanometers. The latest A17 chip used in iPhone 15 Pro is built on 3 NM tech. However, this technological advancement has almost reached its physical limit. Talking about transistors, they are basically components that control the flow of current and current is a flow of electrons. If we shrink the width of transistors closer to the size of electrons, it will disrupt the current flowing through it. Hence, going beyond 1 nanometer is tough and tricky considering the size of silicon atom is 0.2 nanometer. There is lot of ongoing research for alternatives like using materials other than silicon, going to subatomic levels in quantum technology or VTFET where we change the orientations of transistors. So what do you think? Is Moore's law dead? Share your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned for more such informative videos.